Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the step graded junction diode. So step graded junction diode is nothing but when the doping concentration of the N site that is N D is not equals to the doping concentration of the P site that is N A in a semiconductor diode. So suppose if the N D value is greater than the N A that means doping concentration in the N site is greater than the doping concentration of the P site then we will call the diode as P N plus diode because the N site is highly doped than the P site that is why we have used a plus sign at the position of N. Similarly, if the N D value is less than N A then we can say that it is a P plus N diode as the doping concentration of the P site is highly doped. So, this type of diodes are called step graded junction diode or abrupt diode. So, the other name is abrupt junction diode. Now, we know the charge equality equation gives that W P into N A is equals to W N into N D. This is the charge equality equation of a diode where this W P is the width of the depletion layer in the P site and W N is the width of the depletion layer in the N site. Now, let us take a P N plus diode that means this will be the diode block diagram and if it is the P side. So, this will be the junction between the P and N side and we have doped the P side lightly and we have doped the N side highly that means this N D value is now very much high than N A value. That is why the width of the depletion layer inside the N site will be very thin, but the width of the depletion layer in the P site will penetrate deeper into the P site. So, we can say this will be the W P and this region is the W N. That means, we can say that a lightly doped site of a diode will have a large depletion region, but a highly doped site of a diode will have a small depletion region. Hence, it can be written that a P N plus diode will have a depletion layer like this. Similarly, if we want to draw the P plus N diode then it will look like as this is the structure and the depletion region of a P plus N diode where P type is highly doped than the N site. Now, let us consider 
first a p plus n junction diode so in this p plus n junction diode we know that the na concentration will be very much large than the donor concentration so the width or the total width of the depletion region we know that it will be 2 epsilon by q into 1 by n a plus 1 by n d into v 0 and v 0 is the built in potential that is v b i and we know that n a value is very large than n d. So, we can neglect the value of n d. So, the equation can be written approximately equals to 2 epsilon by q into 1 by n a into v 0 because the n d value is very smaller than n a. So, in this way a p plus n junction diode will have this amount of width and we know that the w that is the total width will be equals to w n plus w p and in a p plus n junction we know that n a is very much greater than n d that is why we can write that w p will be very much less than w n. So, using this approximation we can write that w will be nearly equals to the w n. So, in a step graded junction p plus n junction diode the total width of the depletion layer will be almost covered by the n type or n side depletion layer. In this way we can conclude that if the doping concentration is increased then the total width of the depletion region will be reduced and the depletion width of a highly doped region will be reduced, but the depletion region width of a lightly doped region will increase. So, this is the p plus n junction diode. Now, let us consider the reverse bias potential or the junction voltage of a p plus n junction diode can be written like this. V j will be equals to q into n d into w square divided by 2 epsilon, where this q is the electronic charge, n d is the doping concentrations and w square and epsilon are the parameters of their own. So, this is for p plus n junctions. Similarly, if we find for p n plus junction diode, then the construction of the diode will look like this 
if this is the p side and if this is the n side so we have dot highly n side so the depletion region of the n side will be smaller but the depletion region of the p side will be higher so it will be the wp and this part is the wn so we can see that total w will be equals to wp plus wn and wn is very small so we can nearly write as wp is equals to w again if we write the equation of w then it will be 2 epsilon by q 1 by n a plus 1 by n d into v 0. So, here we have doped inside very high. So, we can write it as the n plus side is very high. So, means this is very high. So, we can write 2 epsilon by q into 1 by n a into v 0 this one. So, this is the value of w in the p n plus junction and the junction voltage for p n plus junction will be q into n a into w square divided by 2 epsilon volt. Now, let us see what will be the charge density diagram and electric field intensity diagram inside a step graded junction. So, if this is a P plus n step graded junction, then the depletion width here will be very less, but in the n side it will be very high. So, this is the depletion width in the n side and this is the depletion width in the p side. So, let us see what will be the charge density diagram inside this p plus n abrupt junction diode. So, let us take the distance in this formation. Now, we know that in the w n region there will be lot of donor ions and these donor ions are positively charged and here they have acceptor ions and these acceptor ions are negatively charged. So, we can say that the charge density will look like this and according to the charge neutrality we know that this amount of positive charges must be equals to the amount of negative charges in the w p. So, the height of this graph must be higher to make the two area same. So, this is the charge density plot for p plus n abrupt junction. Now, let us see what will be the field intensity plot for this p plus n junction. If I draw the field intensity plot, 
if it is the distance then the plot will look like this the field intensity will be maximum at the junction and it will be zero here it will be zero here so this is the field intensity or electric field plot inside the depletion region and this is the e max now in a step graded diode field intensity is maximum at the junction but it is not exactly at the center of the depletion region because the depletion region has been now larger width in the n side and smaller width in the p side so the maximum electric field that is e max can be written as e max is equals to minus vj w by 2 and this e max is further written as 2 into vj divided by w or we can say that e max or e peak equals to minus 2 into vbi plus vrb divided by w so in a step graded junction sometimes the electric field maximum value can be calculated using the poisons related equation but there will be some error because we have here assumed that the e max is just in the middle of the band gap but if you look at the diagram then you can see that this e max will be not exactly in the middle of the band gap that's why if we calculate the e max value using this poison related equation there will be some error but this error can be neglected because it is a very small amount of error so this is all about the step graded junction diode that is the p plus n junction diode and p n plus junction diode thank you